All right, now you've heard the story, you heard all the fan fan people getting angry. Put things in context now. Um, all of a sudden now he ended up with a rare case of cancer. Oh, I got a few more. He's suing the NBA for $1.9 billion. You're right, for what? They said him and his wife, this is their pastime. They're used to suing people. Mm. This is one got me. Him and him, the pictures of him and his wife are surfacing now with pictures of him, his wife, and the other chick together. Mm. Mm. Sounds real. Yeah, it's starting to sound kind of. Some people say, "Griff, you think this is a conspiracy?" I'm like, "Bro, I don't know. You tell me." Um, who released the sec? Who released the tape? She did. To whom? TMZ. No, she claimed it. A friend of hers released it. Thank you. So she gave it to the friend. The friend released it. My question is, why not the hundreds of hours of stuff that you had? And then what's on the other tapes? And then what did TMZ pay you? Hold on now. Hold up. Let's do the math. How many mathematicians do we have in the house? Not one, somebody, halfway, okay, cool. Can you help me out? Some total of a, the amount of money that he plays the, pays the entire team's salary is $82 million. I did the math. A year? 80, ah, hold on. We're only talking about one season, okay? $82 million. It says here in the file that he paid the jump off, I mean, what's the chick's name? Mm. V. Steviano, which is the chick's name. He paid her. 2.4, pardon me, 2.5 million dollars over the whole entire time that he was dealing with her. $240,000 for the spot that she's staying in, four luxury cars, and a lifestyle that a lot of us don't live. All right? So you mean to tell me the jump off is probably making more than one of the players, right or wrong? Come on now, talk to me. Okay, so when they, when they find him, the 2.5 million, and banned him from the league. Y'all talk to me now. Come on, be very real and upfront with me. What the fuck is $2.5 million to somebody got a billion dollars? Come on, talk to me. That's some chump change. That's petty cash, right or wrong? And then they had the nerve to say, well, we're going to ban you from the league for a lifetime. This fucker is 80. What do you mean it's lifetime? It's like about five more years he's out of here, right or wrong? So let's just be real with one. That's no punishment. Have yeah. you noticed that the new shows that they try to portray, like the scandal show and everything, is to have the black woman under the white man? Right. Exactly. But now I'm saying all that to say this. Now we got to go back into the the scandalous reality show mindset of the black woman now. And black women, I'm telling you, y'all have came at me and Zaza as soon as we talked about the scandal chip, simply because now there was an article. Let me not forget the name of the article. Uh, don't knock V. Stiviano's, uh, oh, what is the name of this article? This black woman wrote an article about not knocking her hustle. Mm. Is Whoa. she a prostitute or what? I don't know, but the black woman put it in such a way where I should have brought it with me to read to the sisters simply because it's devastating to young women. Don't knock her hustle? What? When did that become a part-time job for your sisters, man? I mean, is this what, I mean, this is y'all come up? True. This is critical. Hey, yes. Know, I live in Santa Barbara, California, man, and all the, a lot of the black women out there date white men, and this were. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Now I know the title. I, mean, I got it. Yeah. Do not knock V. Stiviano's uh, gold digging hustle. That's the name. Whoa. Put it in a search engine, and the article will come up. Don't knock her gold digging hustle. This is critical. And most women will go for it because now scandal done set you in the right proper mindset. Done moistened you up. You understand what I'm saying? Got you ripe for the pickings. So now when V. Stiviano get her gold digging hustle on with, with dude here, oh, that's all right. That's just that's just the game. That's how it works. So he's banned for life. This dude is 82 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Do I need to... 
<laughs> NAACP, National Advancement, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Keep in mind, these are colored folks. And, and real, I didn't finish my list yet, but real quick, he put out a statement forgiving him, Christians. No, he did. NAACP had a press conference forgiving him and the statements that he made. Come to find out when we did the research, they, he paid the NAACP $45,000. He received two Lifetime Achievement Awards from the NAACP. Yes! He turned around and resigned because they brought up his past. That he was a judge at one time and he took bribes. I swear, I wish I could sit down and write this story. I'd sell this to Hollywood, man. <laughs> this is critical. Black people have been, we've been duped, man, every everywhere we turn. Let me tell y'all something straight up, man. In the face of racism, white supremacy, and listen, man, I love the brothers from the Clippers, but if all you can do is take off your fucking warm-up suit and throw it down in the middle of the goddamn floor and run off the court as a protest, there's something wrong with you, man. They called you a nigger to your face and all you do is take your uniform off and throw it down? Come on, y'all. Come on, thank you. You're still playing the game. Hold up. But listen. 23 of the 29 teams in the NBA are all owned by Jewish people. Mm -hmm. That's right. Whoa. And who was the commissioner? What's his name? Silver. Stern, Stern silver, don't silver. matter. All of them are Jews. <laughs> same club, same team. Took the same oath. Y'all tell me what's going on now. Professor Griff, don't come to Philly with that conspiracy shit. Y'all tell me. I laid it out for y'all. Now y'all tell me. Tell, tell me what's going on behind the scenes now. Somebody's doing something really, 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 really devilish. Where's all, where's all of these people that are in the NAACP that handed over the award to Donald Sterling and they were about to give him another award for 2015? Yes! It was, it was coming up in May. And this is very real. So this is your man, Doc. No wonder you can't get anything from black people. Thank you. Hook, line, and sinker. I mean, can't wait to sell out. Where y'all at? In this NBA plantation fairy tale, mm -hmm. if, is, uh, if he is Doc, then she is Snow White. <laughs> what if black people knew that the Clippers were slave ships, then would, uh, would we still cheer on the Clippers? Transcend entertainment. Edutainment. Edutainment. I'm not done, just a few more things, if I can. So all of a sudden now, everybody got all this money laying around, millions of dollars now, to put in the pot to own the Clippers. Have you been to Detroit lately? You mean to tell me these Negroes put, couldn't put some money together to purchase some of them buildings in Detroit for our people? Come on, talk to me. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me Mayweather, Oprah, and a few other people, P. Diddy, and the rest of them. Floyd from Detroit, eh? Where is he? I'm not sure. But all of a sudden, wait a minute now. The white boy, the white boy David Geffen stepped up and said he'll, he'll, he'll purchase the Clippers for $775 million. P. Diddy wanted to match that. Magic Johnson was putting together some people. Floyd May Mayweather, Oprah, and a few other people was putting together some, some other billionaires to come together to purchase it. Wait a minute. Why couldn't y'all come to that when it came to the, 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 the schools in Chicago? Schools come on. Here. Schools here. You're right. Schools here. Schools anywhere. All of a sudden now we got millions of dollars laying around just because you want to own a team. You're right. They don't care about us. And we shouldn't care about them. Plain and simple. No, I'm very real with this, man. So all of a sudden now, wait a minute. I don't know if y'all know. The rules, out of the 28, 29 teams, 23 are owned by Jews. The overwhelming majority of the people have to actually vote yes. to get them out. Now that changes the dynamic of things. So now you stepping up now 
to purchase something that ain't even for sale. No one said they sell it. Who said he's selling it? He went on record and said the Clippers are not for sale. So what are these people talking about? No, not only they, 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 they're they jumping, they're jumping the gun. What they're trying to do is persuade the masses of the people's thinking and to make you think that that is a solution. If David Geffen, I don't know, I know the history of the uh, Geffen Records and who's on, on, who, who's on the rostrum at Geffen Records. You probably don't know. But if Ge David Geffen buys the Clippers, you're going to get the same madness that you got from, Day uh, from Donald Sterling. It's no different. It's no different. And let's just be very real about that. Oh, I'm sorry, I jumped the gun. This is the last slide I want to show. There's a few things I want else to go over about this because it's a lot deeper than this. It's a whole lot deeper than this. Um, um, the statements from um, LeBron James. The state, statements from, uh, who's the brother? From the Chicago Bulls. Derrick Rose. Uh, no. What is his name? Man? One of the star players that got, yeah. Who's his name, Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose. Right. Um, very critical. Brother stepped up to the plate. Spoke truth to power. I guess he was putting it all on the line. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Very, very real. Right off the board, Mary Substop, Philadelphia, PA. Shots so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You wonder we got it, mixtapes, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome on to come build the energy is positive. And remember, of the team is awake and conscious. Come through and experience this place of knowledge. They say they'll put it in a book if they wanna hide it from us. But we got them books so you can buy it from us. Something to read while you on a train or riding the bus. Get your read on, move for thought, get your eat on. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel.